Hey everyone, this is Matt with Storm and Rail Fan 96. I'm bringing a, kind of a different video for you all here today. Uh, like I said in the past, I've wanted to make more videos about my radios, so I'm going to be doing that today. Uh, right here I have my Kenwood NX5700 mobile radio. It's being used as a base station on my radio shelf in my office. Uh, if you have a Kenwood radio, you would know that usually when you start up a radio, it has a pretty generic startup tone. Uh, with these radios, with this line of radios, you can actually make customized tones, which is pretty cool. Uh, real quick, just for an example of just your basic Kenwood startup tone, I have my Kenwood NX5300 with me. I'm just going to show you what, it, you know, what most Kenwoods sound like when you start them up, so I'm just going to turn it on. And just a basic beep is what it sounds like, but you can change that in the programming software with this line of radios here. I just want to show you what I've done on the NX5700 radio. That's what uh, a basic startup tone sounds like. This is what mine sounds like on this radio here. So I'm literally just going to flip the switch on and the radio will turn on. For those of you who know Motorola radios, you'd probably recognize that. Uh, it's a fast warble tone, and that's what I have for my uh, startup tone. So let's go ahead and show you some other custom customized tones that I have enabled for this radio. Uh, this radio is enabled to receive quick call tones, so it will decode them and it will sound as like a pager. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Um, and show you what tones we have enabled uh, for alert tones. Real quick, this is going to be the radio that I um, I send the quick call tones on, and this is another radio that I've actually altered the uh, the startup tone with. So let's just listen to that real quick here. So yeah, it just it's much different uh, and a lot more exciting than just a single beep for the radio turning on. All right, so I'm just going to go to the correct channel uh, to activate this, and we're going to go ahead and do different examples here for alert tones that you can customize. I'm going to turn this on just a hair. Okay, let's go ahead and get started here. All right, here comes the first one. Actually, it's a little quiet. Let's do that first one again. All right, here comes another one. So for those of you who know Motorola radios, you'd probably recognize those two sounds. The first one that I did was warble, and then the second one I did was a pulsed tone. So for like dispatch consoles, you can have those tones go over the air when you want a special announcement or some sort of emergency traffic to go. Uh, so I was able to program that again through the uh, programming software for this radio to where when it receives those quick call tones, it'll when it goes into alert, it'll sound off those tones. Uh, so it's pretty fun and it's not that hard to do if you have the CPS. Um, I'll make a tutorial later on how to do that. Whereas, um, so you could do that with Kenwood radios, but for Motorola radios like this uh, Motorola CM300D, uh, you can't really do that. Uh, let me go ahead and just show you real quick here. So for a Motorola radio, this is what it sounds like for an alert tone when it receives a page. So it does that deal. Let me go ahead and 
and shut it up, pushing OK. Oh, I mean, wrong button, pushing the home button. So yeah, that's what it sounds like with a Motorola, at least with the XPR series. With these older radios, it's a different tone. Uh, so depends on what radio you get. But at least with the Kenwood here, you can customize the tones that you hear go off when it receives quick call. So yeah. Again, this is a different video than I usually upload. I know it's kind of random, but like I said, I want to do more videos regarding my radios. And I'm going to be going over later in a separate video, a tour of my radio shelf. You've only seen a few of the radios, just like on this shelf, for example, what I have set up and it's not even complete yet. So I'm not even quite done. I just wanted to make a video of this and then show you a little bit of a hint of stuff later to come. So. Hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching.